It's our second day here. We arrived yesterday, and today is a day packed with stuff. We're doing for a National History Museum for uh, dinosaur bones for Justin, and then we the boys have a magic show. So right now, we'll go to Liberty of London and see where Cruella used to work, and then we are going to Red London for a tea party. So in today's vlog, I'll be sharing with you all sorts of things you can do in London with you. I mean, look at this place. This is our British breakfast. What do you need? We are all done with our breakfast and we are on our way to Natural History Museum. So just so you can see some dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. They have a couple of this on the uh, exhibition today. You excited, bud? I pre-booked our free tickets online so we don't have to stand in that crazy line right there you guys so you can go online and book those Think this one is because the real one is up here. Yeah, this is a, probably a cast of it. Look at that creepy thing. Oh, it's about to get me. Ah. Yeah, what you got there, Justin? I got it here. So yeah, fun. That's right. Let's History Museum I took us about two hours and we probably saw I don't know like 10% of it how much do we think we saw we didn't see like the whole thing 30 40 okay so now we're gonna go to our hotel we are staying uh, it may okay so but we spent two hours and I think two hours was plenty we saw all the dinosaurs hey can you guys tell me what do you think about the museum I, I have two Creepy frogs. Uh, creepy frogs. Did you like them too? Yeah, they're really cool. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna go to the hotel. Boys are gonna go to the comedy show. Look at those. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Look at those beehives. I'm actually quite amazed how green London is in December. You kind of think about it being gray and dark. There's flowers everywhere, like real blooming flowers. Also lots of restaurants decorate with fall flowers. So like on the, on the outside, in the inside, hanging from the ceiling. So it's really colorful. by a cute cafe in the park and I felt like we were watching so much we have like 30 minutes of our 
uh, hotel so that we all deserve to eat some brownies and drink some hot wine. We have Merlin wine, hot chocolate for kids. And we'll have a great view. <laughs> Look at the size of the croissant. It's been eaten by a few people already. Swans. Juliet is loving this as long as she's not running into the water. Uh huh. Ptichki, ptichki. Handsome boys are ready to go to their magic show. We, the girls, will hang out here for now and then we'll switch up and look how matchy they are. So this is what I was saying about the flowers. Here's Scarlett. We're walking to the Liberty of London. So those aren't real, but there's lots of like real flowers as well on the streets. While other boys are at the magic show, they're doing Barry and Brown, uh, Justin's favorite magician. We are walking to the Liberty of London. It's a 15 minute and walk. Yeah, we don't know how long that's gonna last, but we're walking, it's 15 minute walk for us. And then we are going to Mina Lima Gallery as well. The one that, um, that's a graphic design company that created all of the artwork behind Harry Potter movies. So we're kind of excited to check that out. It's about nine minutes from the Liberty of London, right behind there. Here's the Liberty of London, where Cruella used to work. Oh my gosh, look down that street. Isn't that beautiful? We are at the Liberty of London. How do you like Liberty of London? You happy? Yes, I'm trying to do a thumbs up with my feet, but I don't think I can. Yeah. to Mina Lima, the house of Mina Lima. They did all of the decorations or an artwork behind Harry Potter. We walked from Liberty of London. It's about 10 minute walk, but we found ourselves on Carnaby Street and extremely busy. We really needed it for all the crowds, but we're almost there. There was a line at uh, Mina Lima, so we stopped across the road at Coco Melt, some hot chocolate and coffee. So what was your favorite part today? Oh, um, that was sweet. Bean, right there, see it? That's right here, the package for every flavor bean. Well, they, they're the ones that designed it, Bean. Look, there's all sorts of cards. Look, Gryffindors. Mask breakout from Azkaban. Aren't real books, guys? They're actually journals, so that's where you would do like journaling. Three more places, isn't it? The wallpaper. Can I see that one right here? Electric fish tranche. Mask water. That is cool. Look at the stairs. Actual props from the movies. Look at the chocolate frogs. 
Rita's Kita. So looks great. This is the secrets of Dumbledore. The Rita's Kita scuff. Here's our destination. Rita's London. We're coming here for a tea party. Scarlet and I. And it was a magical experience. Yes, and we also got a box of treats. Yeah, they boxed up everything that we didn't finish, and the clairs were so good. They were the yeah. best. Yeah. Those were like the round chocolate ones, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna walk back to our hotel because we eat like 5,000 calories, yes. probably. Yeah. And it's only 15 minute walk for us. Uh, the Reds send us home with some treats. And Justin's about to try our favorite one. It was an eclair. Oscar, you sharing with me, right? How about you? What do you think, buddy? I like the top. You like the top? Like what about the cream? Like He's enjoying the finest London cuisine. Cuisine. And a piece of a huge piece of bread. Uh, we had a bit of a later start to our day today. We had breakfast at our hotel. And now we're going to British History Museum. It is rainy, not very cold outside, but we walked, I walked 19,000 steps yesterday and me. and so did Scarlett because she walked everywhere with me. Well, she probably walked 25,000 because her stride is much more. Oh my gosh, and your feet aren't even tired. Well, anyways, we are taking a cab and let me tell you, British cabs are amazing. So this is electric, has space for all five of us and Juliet is buckled in safely too. What the Look, I think we should what get one you? of these cars at home. <laughs> what did you love about this the museum, Justin? Oh, the eight. These are quite new. They've only been out for about four or five years. Um, that's the old one, the diesel shape. You can only get five people this. in those. Even the line looked really long from the outside. It was moving super fast. Actually, I've noticed that in London, when. Yeah, you should do a treasure hunt. That in London, overall, if you have families, it pays off. You always get like in the shorter lines and like if you have a stroller, you, you don't have to wait as much. So it probably took us about less than 10 minutes to get it, even though the line was around the block. But now the kids are gonna do the treasure hunt that they have at the family stage. Yeah. Up the south stairs, and then you turn left to left with the British History Museum they are their mummy collection is the best I've ever seen it's uh, quite quite impressive for the children right Scarlett I thought it was great uh, right now we are on the way to the Lidden Hall Market no no buddy we're not going there Lidden Hall Market that inspired the Leaky Cauldron and Diagon Alley uh, for Harry Potter so it's one of our Harry Potter London locations and try to open the safe. So the Tower of London is a really cool spot to visit, but to take pictures and videos, it always kind of looks 
gray and gloomy. What do you kids think about the Tower of London so far? Great. Right. Justin, what do you think? You like it? It's pretty cool. What do you say? What do you like so far the best? There's ravens down there. Yeah. Where? Let's go see them. Skirt, this is the best. This is our favorite. When Daddy and I came, this was our favorite exhibition here. What do you think about the Tower of London? Cool. What was the coolest part? Well, I like I the I throne. It's the throne really room uh, was very pretty. What about all the armory? Like armors? Oh, I like the black horse. This one is for you, it's a newsletter, you can read about it. Okay. okay. Wait. This one is a welcome letter from a hotel. So you can read about it. It's a general information. Okay. This Ooh. one, you can open your room using this key. It's yeah. open. It's secret. Whoa, Sky go down. One, Got um, snacks, goblets, and the cups. What? Very Harry Potter. It is December 31st. It's gonna be New Year's Eve. We are on our way to Buckingham Palace. It's rainy quite a, quite a bit. Um, we're still out and about. We do not actually have tickets today. Um, we're just gonna go around and walk. And. We did so many museums, so I think we're kind of all ready to just take it easy. And then tonight we also have Winter Wonderland, which kind of, it's uh, sweat. So we'll see how that goes. And dinner at Gordon Ramsay. So that's the plan. Tomorrow we are leaving to Paris. We popped in into an English tea shop. We have so many great teas. And I'm thinking about getting something for my mom. Maybe we can get some souvenirs here. Uh, miniature tea cup. Miniature what? Teacup. Well, look how pretty that one is. I think Marty would love that one. So, this tea party got me inspired, and I was thinking, now I'll do a tea party at home, and I think so. I think we should do a tea party at home. We bumped in into other Harry Potter shop. It's called House of Wonders. So, we uh, hang out at the hotel for about two hours, and we did come to Winter Wonderland because we have circus tickets. It's not raining right now, it's like lightly drizzling, but it's still wet and cold, so we're not gonna do as much here, but maybe we'll do the, the wheel, and we'll do the circus, and that's about it. And now we have our reservations at the restaurant for New Year. You got a spear? He's got a Christmas tree. A spear? All right, it's crazy. <laughs> <A spear? laughs> All right, can like I have that, baby? Yeah. Oh, oh did it?
Year. Happy New Year. Justin, where are we? Uh, platform nine and three quarters. We're going there now. We just have to go all the way back. Justin, look that way, buddy. Oh, look, they sell those trunks. What? That is just the Hogwarts trunks. So we are all done with London. We have arrived in Paris. We took Eurostar early this morning. And um, we are walking because we are staying in an apartment in Paris. So I am going to finish this uh, London vlog on this one. We will uh, do the separate one for Paris with kids once we settle down and figure out what we're doing here. I would say that in London, the first hotel we stayed at was in Mayfair with JW Marriott Gross Grossman. I can't say it. I can't. I don't know why I can't say it. Well, anyways. Uh, that was a great location. We kind of walked everywhere and we enjoyed pretty much everything. So hopefully it was enjoyable as well and gave you some good ideas. See you in Paris.